it matters how well you know her, but you really have to know how your opponent plays her. It's like, she's kind of like Lisa in that regard. You have to know what mix-ups your opponent likes to go for. It and it's like, <laughs> there, is, there is no Helena that's the same aside from the Force Tech game. They all use different and, ways and, to go into and that. And that's the scary, that's the only scary thing about her. And, and, and it's like a copy and paste job since the Force Tech technology has been released to the community with Helena players. That's that's the only thing. It's a very viable tool. And it's very funny because before the game dropped, there was all this talk about how Helena was terrible. She wasn't that good. But after this yeah. recent patch, it's really helped her out, and she's very strong. Yes. It looks like we're just going right into it now. We have Shade Swift Eye going with Kasumi. He's a known Kasumi player. Yes, he is. I'm going to defer to Alan Paris on this matchup, being the resident Kasumi expert. Um, I think Kasumi should be doing exactly what Christy just did to Helena. Should, just, he should, she, Kasumi should be blitzing Helena right now with her offense. Although Kasumi is unsafe, she's going to beat Christy to the punch on everything. Every beat time, Helena. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Beat Helena sorry. to the punch on everything. And it's something that um, is technology that I just recently found out about Helena and Kasumi in this matchup is that um, in the neutral game, which is, is although it may be hard to do for uh, to stay facing Helena, if Kasumi parries Helena going into her Bokoho transition, Kasumi picks up a free low throw from it. Really? A free low throw from it. So in the neutral game, when Helena trans, you know, anything that will transition her into her Bokoho stance, if Kasumi does her standard parry, she gets a free low throw. But again, it's technology that I just found out, actually. Um, a few days ago, I was at home before I actually came out to the tournament. Um, I didn't get to share it with anybody, and I don't believe um, Shay Swift I knows. But it seems like he's, he's faring well against uh, yeah. Helena Player. He's, he's, he's a critical burst. He's adjusted really well from the last match. I think he realized he was maybe giving Helena a bit too much respect. He's exactly. got to apply pressure a little bit more, not give Helena an yeah, opportunity exactly. to stun or mount any kind of offense. Yeah, it's exactly what I was just saying. He goes into it, 4-4 four, four punch. Oh, and he drops, he the, drops juggle. the double. Yeah, it's exactly what I was saying that what, what he should be doing is blitzing Helena, which what it's is like, what he's doing right now. It's like know? he heard you. Here comes Helena with the with the book over. The blender. Yeah, the blender. Oh. Oh. See, that's something interesting right there. The opponent knows that Helena can force tech you, so sometimes even if you don't go for the force tech, they'll just tech themselves up, which allows you to mix them up. Yeah. It's like another layer of that mind game that comes in with playing her. Yes. But Shade Swift Eye adjusts, takes the first game. He's up one nothing over Excalibur Blades. Yes. I believe if Excalibur Blades, if he's feeling uneasy about Helena in this matchup, because I heard he, uh, Kasumi was a character that he did have a problem with earlier, we yeah. may see him pull out Alpha. And if he does pull out Alpha, <laughs> Shade is in a lot of trouble. It's funny because I actually... I was sitting down with Alpha for like the first time since I don't have the 300 titles necessary to unlock her at home. Uh, and he was actually showing me a lot of stuff that she can do. And it, she's a lot more, um, how should I say it? She's a lot more effective than I think she would be. Yeah. It's like she's she's missing some tools that she's kind of flawed on a fundamental yeah, level. But she's her blaze take the, takes the round there. She's got enough like character specific stuff that could actually make her a force in the right hands. Mid-kick launcher from Helena over the balcony down the stairs. Wall hit from Sumi. He, Shade misses the juggle. Unsafe move, Caliber Blaze does not punish it. Another butchered wall juggle from Kasumi here, and it's not it's not good at all. Oh, going for the power point. blow. It was actually a charge attack that uh, Helena was. has from her Bakuo. Oh, it, that's right, yeah. that's right. Nice. He, he saw as soon as she went into BKO, he just went for a low jab to knock yeah. her out of it. Into an unholdable stun with a free guaranteed uh, three free kick out of the window. Excalibur Blaze is not being able to work the force tech game at all. Yeah. Excalibur Blaze. Here comes the blender with the low sweep. Oh, nice read. Puts a him in the reset. Burst. Goes for a critical burst. This is going to end with the blender. A 13 hit combo. Here we go. And that's the match. Well, that's the round. Yeah, that's actually the match. Yeah, and now, just like how Shade Swift Eye adjusted in the last game, now we have Excalibur Blades adjusting and taking uh, Shade Swift Eye three rounds in a row. Shade is thinking about if he wants to switch his character. 
He plays a couple of other characters. I know he also has. It will a, be in his best an interest to stay as Kasumi. I would agree with that. If Shade can hear me right now, do not change your character. Well, apparently he's still sticking with Kasumi, so. A high counter, high counter and a DKO ending. He oh. misses the force tag. They're spacing now, trying to figure each other out here. Shay should actually be doing Kasumi's kick from uh, Kasumi's teleport in, uh, from um, out of her moves like that because the kick will launch um, after you after you send them tumbling like that, the stumble stun. And he does a ground hit because uh, Helena doesn't tech there and uh, takes the match. Takes it pretty convincingly too. He had a pretty solid life lead at the end of that round. Into the blender, Shay goes back into the blender. He Ooh. holds out of it. it it's in Shade's best interest to get away from this wall, and he doesn't get away from the wall, yeah, and I don't think this pinned. is gonna be good for him at all, and he's it pinned. really isn't. Ooh. A 10 hit combo, and I knew it from the start. It's oh. not good for him. Even though, yeah, Ooh. see? That's such a dangerous area, because you got the walls on both yeah. sides, like right in that corner. He yeah. should've did everything in his power to get away from that wall. No critical burst for Kasumi. A sit down stun. So he tries to grab it. It's the character knowledge. It's it's there with Shay, but it's it's not. It's it's almost really not there completely because after that sit down stun, he gets a free forward forward kick with Kasumi, and he he just whipped the grab. Oh, using like, the BKO to go under Kasumi's strings there. Yeah, and he just learned the hard way. Four four punch is not free after that after that back stun after punch kick. It's another forward forward kick that's actually uh, free, and he gets low held trying to go low. Oh, Ooh. nice clutch, clutch one PP for, for Shade there to, to get away from Helena here. And that was actually a missed opportunity for a low throw punish by uh, Excalibur Blades, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Into the blend of Shade goes into oh, a, goes guard, a break. guard break. The force takes shenanigans. People are, Ooh. he holds out of it. Yes, get away from the wall, he knows now. Yeah, he gets out of the wall this time, but into a launch. Didn't help him too much. Excalibur Blades takes that round, and, and this game is going down to the wire here. See, just like Helena keeps going into that, all yeah. Kasumi has to do is parry. It's a free low throw for it. Right. Nice man punch hole from Helena. Ooh, this nice. may be it. Here's Helena's 9K to yep, crush the hot kick, He caught it. Shade trying to, trying to duck the low, and the mid-punch hit him. That mix-up is so crazy because you can't fuzzy guard the option. The mid-punches are, are too slow to fuzzy guard. The low sweep is quick. Right. The mid-punch is slow. So you can't, really, you can't really fuzzy guard in between them. You have to commit to which one you're going to block. So we have uh, Excalibur Blades up 2-1. to one. Yes, Excalibur Blades is up 2-1. to one. If he takes this, he's going to the Grand Finals. He's going to uh, Loser's Finals. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, Excalibur Blaze will go to the Grand Finals oh, if he takes Oh, right, this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shade Swift Eye, if well, he loses, will we'll go to Loser's Finals, finals to face yes. Sonic Fox. Okay. I'm beginning to think yes. Excalibur Blaze doesn't know that that, that string is unsafe because he's blocking a number of times and he never goes for the low throw punish. Yeah, I, I don't know. What the Shade Swift guy does, he misses Ooh, it. misses the combo. That is a very, as a Kasumi player, I will say that is a very annoying juggle to do because the timing on it is so weird and it actually, it changes from the weight classes in which she can do them to. Helen is a mid-weight class, so does it work yes, on mid? Yeah, it works on mid-weights and Helena takes it, but the timing, it, it's just a weird timing on getting it down. Right, see, again, using that, uh, that kick string to break up an offense. That's another unsafe move from Helena. Yeah, and it no goes throw unpunished. punish from yeah, Shade no, Swift. No died. throw punish at all. Again, another string. All and he read, the, he read the jab punish. Yeah. Because he knew he wasn't going to throw punish. He says, all right, I'll just hold your jab punish. Or low jab punish, she'd say. Nice mid punch on his, from Excalibur Blades. And a throw, he takes the second round. This, is almost, this will be it for Shade if he loses. Shade's really got to start doing some throw punishes when he starts blocking Helena. That's one of her major weaknesses is she's pretty unsafe on block. Yeah. When you get those opportunities for a throw punish, you've got to take them. 
Nice BKO throw. Yeah, and I just watched Shay Swift I get hit by two back-to-back -back charge attacks from Helena. He's not holding at all. She can't cancel out of him, and, and he loses. This is it. Yeah. See, oh, he drops the juggle. Drops the juggle. That's unsafe. Shay Swift I finally throws a punish throw, and he's not. He's he gets back into the wall. He's gonna lose. This is kind of what we were talking about earlier. Shay oh. Swift I is respecting Helena a bit too much. Too much. Nice juggle from Shay. That's it. And that's it. Shea goes the losers. Ace Caliber Blade advances on to the grand finals.